Hello, 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 my beautiful brothers and sisters. My name is Tracy coming to share another word with you guys. Listen, God is so, so good. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. You guys, is today Saturday? If so, happy Sabbath day, okay? Because I'm on my phone, so I can't even check the date. Like, you already, you know what I say, my days run together. So anyways, I pray that so far your um, day has started off great, okay? God is so good. So I came on, I just want to share some words of encouragement. I want you to know that it's not too late. Did I say thank you? I did not. Y'all listen, once again, my family whom I love, okay, my spiritual family, showed up and showed out again. Thank you so much. God is so faithful. All right. You will be blessed because this is good ground. And so I pray for us this morning. I pray for all of you guys. Remember that. And I don't have to know specifically what your need is because father knows. Okay. Daddy, God knows, right? Amen. And amen. I love you so much. And thank you again. Listen, I want just to encourage you all today that it's not too late. It's not too late. Whatever you're looking for, okay? Whether it's your marriage promise, I don't care how old you are. If you have a promise from God, it's coming. Whether it's children, if you have a promise from God, it doesn't matter how old you are, okay? Whatever it is that you are looking for, believing for, and that you received a promise from God, listen, it is not too late. It is never too late. This is the creator of the universe we're talking about, right? Our father in heaven, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. It is never too late. I want to share a quick story. I was married before, you guys know. My youngest kid's father passed away in 2017. Um, he was married before. Now, his first wife, um, they were married probably like 30-something years or something like that. And, um, and at some point, she found out that she couldn't have children. So my kid's father... Um, never had any children and he was up in age. Now I never shared the age difference between um, my my um, previous husband, my kid's father and me, but it was a huge age difference. Okay. I'm just going to say this. People used to think that um, he was my father, but he was a good looking man. So look, okay. He was a good looking guy. He did not look his age at all. All right. And so, um, and he never had children, but it was a desire for him uh, to have children. Listen, you guys. So when, when, when we got together, when we got married, okay, um, we went into it knowing. Now, I did try because I was 36, if I'm not mistaken, at the time. And, um, and we did try in vitro fertilization. We tried about three times. Let me tell you something. When, when it doesn't work out, it is emotionally draining. I was done after the third time. I said, baby, I cannot try it um, anymore. He understood it was okay. And it's expensive anyways. And so, um, and so that was that. And I remember my mom coming and she said something along the lines of the folded doors or the closed doors will make a way. I did not get it. I did not get it forever and ever. Okay, mom, thank you. You know, praise the Lord. I'm like, what does that mean? I mean, I just wasn't getting it. And so, um, because I, I desired to have children for him. Now I couldn't have, um, any more children at the time. Okay. Most of you know my story. You know that I adopted the last three, which are my grandchildren. Most of you guys know that, but I raised them as babies. Okay. So they're mine. I, we don't, we don't, that's not what we say in, in this family. Like you were adopted. They're mine. Matter of fact, they still have my blood running through their little veins. Praise the Lord. They, they're big now. They're all grown up. Ah, I'm not going to cry. And so listen, so listen, so what happened was we were married about a year. Things transpired. I believe I shared the story somewhere way back in the archives. Okay. Uh, on YouTube. And, um, and I needed to get the three, my three youngest kids. Okay. Um, I'm trying to think because they were babies. So my youngest was about six months old. The other was just a year old. My son was going on three. When we got them, they were, let's put it like that. So when I finally got the kids before adoption was final, it was eight months, about 15 months old, the second one, 
and my youngest son was three, okay? And so I had babies. Two of them were in diapers. And listen, let me tell you how amazing God is. So before um, before we knew that we were going to adopt, my daughter, my oldest daughter, these are her kids um, that she birthed, rather. And so when she was having the last one, we went to the hospital. Um, my kid's dad and I, we went and the baby, the youngest one, he got to hold. Listen, at the time, we had no idea that God was going to give those babies to us. Okay. So I took a picture with him holding the youngest one right in the hospital, not knowing, not knowing that day that he, that, that baby that he was holding was going to become his plus two others. Okay. Talking about a bonus. He probably only desired one at this point it, and it didn't look like it because he was definitely past um the age where he could have babies okay um and so um make babies and so listen it reminds me of sarah and, and abraham for sure you know because he was getting up in age it was just not the doctors like this we just yes or no Okay. It's a no, but we know that God works in those type of situations, right? It's never too late. God always has a plan of some sort. He always has something that he is doing behind the scenes that you cannot see. Come on, Holy Spirit. Okay. Always working behind the scenes on things that you cannot see. It reminds me of the video I did that said there is movement. I'm going to try to link it. Y'all know how I am. I'm going to try to link it in the description. If you have not seen that video, that there is movement. Remember, the earth is always moving. Can you feel it? No. Can you see it? No. But it's always movement. moving. There is movement in your situation. God is always working behind the scenes. So listen. And so um, a year later, well, not even quite a year, not even a year later, okay, um, that from the time that he held the baby in the hospital, that we would be um, getting these babies. He became a father, not just one, not just two. Father, look, daddy did it in triplicates. He became a father of three, seemingly overnight. God answered his prayer. He answered his request. Listen, it's not going to always look like you want. God, I feel you. Oh, I feel you, Holy Spirit. It is not going to always look like you want it to. But God's word is true. His promise will stand. If he say he's going to give you babies, he's going to give you babies. If he say he's going to give you a husband or a wife, you know where it goes, okay? Because marriage is between a man and a woman, period. I will not move my stance. You already know. Oh, look, I stand firm in that. I will not back down in Jesus name. The devil is a liar. He'd be trying some crazy stuff anyways. And so if you have a marriage promise or if you desire, God is a faithful God. It is not too late. I do not care what your age is. At some point, maybe I tell y'all the age difference. You were like, what? So now if you know people always, if he, if they thought he was my father, then you know, it was a pretty good age gap, right? That didn't matter to me. Look, I love my, I loved him. Okay. I loved him. Right. Th that was my husband at the time. And so that did not matter to me. It was about love and doing the will of God. Amen. God grew me a lot in that, um, in that marriage. Okay. And so it's not too late, but he became a father of, listen, y'all, that little girl spoiled. Okay. Let me tell you something. She was spoiled riding. We used to say, we used to say, go and ask pop. Cause he'd give her almost anything she wanted. We say, go and ask they called him Papa. Go and ask Papa if we could go out to eat today. Because he wasn't going to tell her no. <laughs> That's messed up. I know we used the baby. Look, don't judge me. Don't judge me. But but seriously, listen, whatever you are believing God, if you have never had a job before and now you find yourself in your 50s and we know society look like look at you like, well, you know, you kind of getting up there. We don't you can't have the got the dream, the job of your dreams. The devil is a liar. Nothing stops God. Nothing stops him regardless of how dead your situation looks because remember Sarah um Abraham and Sarah their body was now dead the Bible says so okay I'll try to remember to put the scripture in but y'all know the story so well what about Elizabeth right she was up in age and she had a child she carried her own I don't know how old she was you know but God promise is true. It is real. He's a promise keeper. I just came on here to tell you that it is not too late. Don't give up on the promise. 
Don't give up on the promise. God is going to come through. He is so faithful. He is so faithful. I was reading. I'm looking for my Bible. I was reading ooh, all that stuff on my bed. Don't y'all look at that. I was reading over in Genesis um, this morning, and um, and it was such a beautiful thing. The Lord dropped in my spirit the scripture over in Genesis chapter 1, right? Genesis chapter 1, and I just want to read the first two verses, right? It says, in the beginning, God created the heaven and earth. Now listen, and the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep, and the spirit Spirit of God moved. If I, I don't even have to finish, the Spirit of God moved, right? Amen. Upon the face of the waters. That is so beautiful. I got to read verse two one more time. And the earth was out was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep, and the Spirit of God moved. Okay. Woo. Okay. Look, that's enough to make me run around this room. Okay, the spirit of God moved and he's moving in your life. I don't, we can't look at the age no more. That's something that used to trip me up. Father, look how old I am now. X, Y, Z. Look, let me tell you something. I ain't seen nothing yet. Okay, the best is yet to come. My ladder will be greater. I speak that over myself. My ladder will be greater in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Speak that over yourself. Your ladder will be greater than how you started. Amen. I love it. I love it. I love it. God is absolutely so amazing. I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful for all of the awesome and wonderful things that he has done, is doing, and going to do. Well, now we know everything's done in the spirit, but it has to manifest. So that's why I said it like that. Has done, is doing, gonna do. Amen, amen, amen. Ain't too late. You ain't too old. You ain't too old. I thank God for my youthful spirit. I see now why he kept it. Yes, I still watch animation. <laughs> I'm just throwing that out there. Okay, so, um, but I love it. I love to have fun. I love to laugh. You know what I'm saying? I love to, and I thank God for that. Listen, I just want you to know it's not too late, and I want you to be encouraged. You're still going to be married. Amen. Because if God spoke a word, it's going to happen. There is nothing that will change it. No devil in hell can stop it. Amen. It will, without fail, come to pass. Okay? It's not too late. That is the word for today. God is so good. I thank him so much. I love him so much. He is the lover of my soul. Okay. I love him. I love him. I love him. Amen. And amen. You guys listen. Uh, I'm just going to stop right there. Listen, if you're new in Christ, enjoy your new life with him. Sweetheart, it is the best decision that you could ever make. All heaven is rejoicing with you. Okay. Um, I'm forgetting what I'm supposed to say. If by chance you have fallen away and you're just now coming back, check it out. The most important thing is that you're back now. I celebrate with you. Enjoy your renewed life with Christ. It is the best decision that you could ever make. And yes, all heaven is rejoicing with you too. I probably messed that up. Listen, may the spirit of the living God, that is the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, rest upon you and your family. You all be blessed. I love you so much. And Jesus loves you so much more. If you feel led to sow into this ministry, it is already in the description. Thank you for what you already have done. May God bless you a thousandfold in Jesus name. And I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.